Hello, welcome to this video for the Ford Transit Custom. This is the 2 litre TDCI, that was the turbo diesel engine, manual six speed. Uh, this is one owner, one company owner from new. As you can see, it's in tidy condition. Obviously, you've got to take into account this is a van, not a car. Now, usually when we carry out videos, we must stress that a van, obviously, has been used by workmen or work persons, should we say? Uh, and you'd expect marks on them. So let's start on the faces that are marks. As you can see, this back door there looks like there's a little hairline crack there for the paint, where the door's probably been bent back a little bit too far. A little dent there as well. It has been sign written in the past, this one. You can just about make out some phone numbers on the paintwork there. So it has been sign written. Uh, it has got little tiny marks there around the lock. It has got the security locks. It has got little marks there in the paint where it's starting to bubble a little bit. Uh, what else? What else is there? So this is that. Actually, it's not that bad, this one, to be fair. This is a little bit there where it looks like someone's reversed into something in the past. So that's come away a little bit. So it's bent the plastic. I'm just making you aware of that. Uh, that looks good though. It's tidy. This side's tidy. There's no there's no dents in the panels. There's no scratches on this one, which is really good. Uh, all the plastics are nice and clean. They're not scratched. Everything looks generally tidy. The glass is nice. It's not scratched. We've got a few. Um, I don't know if you can see down here, top of the door, just there. A few little like iron rust spots. Now, if you look at the wing, the wing mirror there in the glass. We've also got these little spots. I think what's happened is somebody, or workman, has maybe um, used a grinder and the little bits of metal, whatever he's been working, has flicked up onto that mirror and it's bonded itself to that glass. So that, that you can see is little spots of um, metal filings which is rusted and bonded to the glass. So just that piece of glass there, uh, that's it. So the mirror glass, sorry, the mirror glass, that's, that's fine. The door glass is fine. It's just that mirror glass which has got those spots as you can see so I must make you aware of these things obviously I don't want to waste my time as much as you don't want to waste yours uh, we've got a little bit of a mark there on top of the wing mirror the cover there you can see uh, everything else is quite good all the tyres are quite good as well as you can see the corners of the bumper the lights are clear as well you can just make out some uh, sign writing on the bonnet as well, where the name of the company has been. That's all nice, the grill's nice, there's no, there's no cracks. It's all complete. All that's nice there, that headlight's nice and clear. Uh, the screen's good as well. If you look at the screen, there is no, there's no chips. In fact, there is a piece of paper in there which says it had as a new screen at some point. So this has had a new screen at some point. I think it was in 2021. I can remember seeing a, a piece of paper in the glove box. So it has had a new screen. That's why that screen is immaculate. Uh, that wing mirror is good. Uh, as you can see there, there are a few little spots just there at the bottom. And that's it on there. That's all clean. The door's in good condition. All the plastics are nice at the bottom little tiniest of scratches there on the plastic there as you can see just make you aware of that this uh, quarter panel this is the most important quarter panel this one because this is where the left hand turn catches most people out especially people that don't drive vans for a living uh, they usually take the corner too sharp too tight and they scrape that but this is a nice solid there's no body filler there it's all metal so it is uh, it has not been damaged so that's really good that quarter uh, just make out a bit of sign writing on there. I don't know if you can see it. I think it says something like Tom Tomlinson. Tomlinson's. Tomlinson, something like that. So it's a company that had its sign written up. Uh, so that's it. So that's the outside. Uh, let's go to the bike. So the rear. Let's open this door. So it has got the security lock there and we have got the keys for that as well. So that's good. Let's open this bike as you can see. Uh, it looks like it may have been ply lined at some point, but only the rear doors are now fine lined so i can see because there's a little bit of silicon there 
from where the ply line was supposed to be. So it looks like someone's either took the ply line out because what happens sometimes if it's an engineering company what's had these vans, they usually put engines in, uh, generators, and when the diesel spills onto the wood, it soaks into the wood and it smells. So they just rip it out because of the smell. So that's probably what's happened. Uh, they must have obviously leaked some diesel or some kind of fluid there uh, and or gear oil for the machinery and it really it really is a strong smell so they just have to take it out and throw it away. So it will need ply lining, just make you aware of that. It's got the bulkhead there with a little window as well. All the uh, roof looks good, there's nothing to report there uh, and this top of the bumper is not bad condition to be fair. So that's the rear. The rear looks to be about six foot to me. That was about six foot deep uh, and obviously just under five. I think it's just under five or just over, yeah, just over four, five foot across. That's what they are. The door cl closes as well nicely and it's not, um, I can say, sticking out, etc. All that shuts nice. Uh, oh, let's get to this side door. Obviously, there's no door on that side. It's this side. So there's a sliding door here. So we open the sliding door. That's all nice and clean. The steps are all nice and clean there as well. The floor's clean as well. Back to the seat. Tidy, very tidy. And the seat's there as well. You've got three headrests, as you can see. Three seat belts as well. Uh, all the rear seats are very clean, so the rear seats are very clean, of course, they get the less usage. Uh, you've got this sliding window there, you've got your emergency brake glass uh, hammer type tool there as well. Uh, and uh, what else? Yeah, very clean, as you can see. It's even got the uh, child Isofix anchoring points on the two outer rear seats. So if you do buy this as a family bus, you can fit the child seats, but it's only got the two outers. So if you've got three child seats, I'm afraid it's not going to fit there's none on that middle seat so just the two outers have got the uh, isofix anchoring points there okay little handle there to get in so this door we'll open this door that's all nice and clean as you can see nothing to report here very clean to be fair even the door shuts are there nice and clean all the rubbers are nice they're not worn uh, there's no major scratching going on a little bit there as you can see that's it some uh, clips are there for if you want carpets obviously this one hasn't got carpet it's got the rubber factory mat should we say uh, the dashboard has got a few little marks on there they may buff out those to be fair might clean out uh, and the front seats are in tidy condition uh, nothing major at all to report there it's got a little bit of a little bit of a dirt or chewing gum some kind of sticky stuff there if you've been very particular on one there uh, if we lift this seat up here like this we can got, we've got a storage compartment under the seat, like so. Same with this other one, of course. We lift that up, oops, and that comes out. So you've got storage there for your tools, etc. Okay, so they just flip back in, like so. So you've got six seats. All the roof lining is pretty clean as well. Look, it's not bad at all. Uh, all up there you've got storage as well there as, as well storage uh, it's 12 volt this side as well and your heater controls okay the front doesn't have the front airbags on this one so this side the passenger side front airbags it doesn't have so there's two people there so it wouldn't work uh, and then let's have a look let's go to the other side to the driver's side So, driver's door, nice and clean, that's all nice and clean, electric windows of course, central locking, there's central locking buttons on both doors as well, so that one, and there's a central locking button on that door as well there, all the door shuts here, it's clean, all the outlet is nice and clean as well, all this is nice and clean, all the rubber's nice and clean, it's not worn, uh, so yeah, the van looks like it's the correct mileage as well. You look at the seat condition the bolster is not worn at all uh, a little bit of sticky marks going on there just there uh, and then a little bit there as well that is it on that seat we may get that out 
uh, and then it's got this driver's seat height adjustment there you go front and the middle uh, all the pedals are nice and clean the bottle uh, holders are nice and clean all that's as you'd expect as, well. all that's as you'd expect and then uh, you've got your light switcher there you've got your key there as well and then if you just get in here I'll we'll show you the rest so you've got the radio with a USB input port there you can also use that to charge but it's very slow I think there is a USB charging point somewhere here or is there no there's an aux input port there and a 12 volt on this one and then you've got the mileage as you can see 86,988 miles no warning lights uh, you've got your computer and your volume controls there six speed manual gearbox uh, very quiet engine around here is nice and clean as well uh, and that is about it in here so to open the bonnet we must switch the engine off to switch the engine off because we need the key on these uh, transits so we've just uh, there's a hole there which is sticking there you turn to the left turn to the right I'm, I'm gonna have to oh wait a minute let me just I'm have to put this phone down a bit there we go 